guys welcome back to my channel my name is Khadijat Adeshola and in my channel I talk about everything related to women and midwifery so today I'm going to be talking about um, NHS job applications so we have I have quite a lot of questions quite a lot of you know uh, messages that I've been applying I've been applying I don't know why my applications have been rejected why is it is it something that I'm not doing right or something so in this video I'm going to be talking about possible reasons why your applications might be rejected so if this looks like what you're interested in kindly stick around watch this video to the end don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel so I'm going to be putting lots of information regarding this in my channel so there are a couple of reasons why your application might be rejected. Sometimes the popular notion is that maybe your supporting informations are not good, but most times, sometimes it might not be because of your supporting information. Your supporting information might just be, you know, ascendantly perfect for, for that post. But there are a couple of reasons why your application might be rejected. And that is why I always say that Whenever you receive an unfortunately message from your prospective employer or recruiter, please try as much as possible to ask them why your applications were rejected. This will make you to be more aware about your application and also to avoid that kind of thing, you know, if it's from you, mistake from you, to avoid it in your next application. So number one reason why your application might be rejected, basically your supporting information, I've said that before. Your supporting information might not include the essential criteria or essential qualities they are looking from, you know, for they are looking at as uh, like they want a prospective, you know, um, candidate to process. Maybe you did not include that in your supporting information. Another reason your application might be rejected is that the, the vacancy may have had enough number of applications or enough number of candidates already, so they might not be able to accommodate you at that point. So that's in that case, your supporting information is good, but your, your application was not as early as possible that they would have, uh, you know, um was it called considered your application so this may happen in a situation whereby maybe the vacancy is closing on the 25th and you only have apply on the 24th so it may be that they have had enough entry for that post already so the application may be rejected in on that ground another reason may be that if you're somebody that actually required cos the complaint or the trust offer COS, but you are still in your own country. So what they do is that basically maybe only offer COS to candidates that are already in the UK, that already have their pin, but they are just changing their current employer. So that may be the people they offer COS for. They might not be able to offer support to candidates coming directly from their from another country they have never been in the uk before and this mostly happened for midwifery posts kind of because this is not all trusts are employing uh, midwife yet unlike the nurses that basically like almost all the trusts have re recruited international nurses before most trusts are just starting to support midwives so sometimes they may not have enough uh, you know support or they might not know how to really support you as an international midwife and they feel that if you are unable to give you the support you needed they feel that they you know they are not doing it well enough you know? so they on that ground they might actually decline you know reject your application so what they will do is they will tell you is that at this moment we are not offering any support to international midwife but however this is something we look forward to do in the future when i was applying i had that that kind of reply and the trust which gave me that reply are now recruiting internationally right now so it's not that they don't want to do it just that at that moment they are not you know offering support to international candidates so that may be another reason why your application may be rejected. Another reason your application may be rejected may be that um, some 
you did not possess some essential criteria for that post which i have said earlier so those are the reasons basically why your application might be the, uh, might be rejected so try as much as possible whenever you receive an unfortunately message from a prospective employer or recruiter please try as much as possible to ask them why your application was rejected so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and also i'm currently uh, running a pool or an audit regarding the number of trucks that i actually have colleagues in as an international midwife so if you are an international midwife and you're currently working in the uk can you please send me a message regarding the name of your trust just the name of your trust i just want to know how many trusts are currently i currently have you know midwives or midwives are working currently and 